Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, de developers. This is a new series that I wanted to do on showing you how to convert an HTML theme, something like this, which is what I'm going to show you today, um, and converting it, uh, an HTML template. This is a static HTML template and converting it into a WordPress theme. Um, this is a good one page template. As you can see, you can click on the menu and you can go down to the next section and you can go down to the next section, go down to the next section, go down to the next section, go all the way down and then go all the way down to the bottom. Well, I really want to show you how to, uh, and you also have your blog, uh, your blog theme and your blog pages. And if you click on that, you have your single blog post. Um, where you have your comments and all that stuff. So what I what I want to do is again show you how to um, convert something like this from HTML into a WordPress theme. The exciting thing about it is that WordPress is also changing, so that um, once you get the um, once you get the once you get comfortable converting WordPress themes uh, from HTML templates, you can actually kind of reverse engineer or reverse the process and start using WordPress's REST API to dynamically populate um, HTML templates. And maybe a couple of years from now, the WordPress theming system will probably go away, you know, and you'll have a, what we call a fa faces WordPress where you'll be creating Angular and Ionic app, I mean, uh, React apps. So let's get started. So this is the theme. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you name your theme file, um, which is your styles.css. It needs to be in the root of your theme folder. Um, I do preface that you should have a comf you should have comf you should be comfortable with PHP, understand FTP, understand how the WordPress um, theming system happens because I'm not going to go over all that. But if you don't know what the root directory of the word of your WordPress theme is, then you really need to take a course like on Linda.com's WordPress Essential Training and stuff like that, or go on and search some other documentation on WordPress and know what the root the theme root is. So, anyways, so I'm going to change the name of this theme and name it the name of the company that um, I'm building it for so as you see it's within this comment block I keep my website I uh, got to give them the URI Right. Save that. I'm gonna go ahead and push this to the repository. All right. Push that. I'm using Visual Studio Code uh, cross-platform. Um, it's real good. I have my own WordPress snippets in here. It's been very valuable to me. So. Um, those of you who have not uh, decided to go ahead and use something like that, just letting you know that that's what I'm using. So let's make sure that the theme name has changed. So let me refresh the page. Uh, let me go ahead and FTP this real quick. So with that, so as you can see, the name has changed millions to billions of entertainment by me. It has a response, it has the tags. So it's active. Um, if we try to take a look at the front page, you're probably not gonna see anything. So no, you're not seeing anything other than the bra uh, because the 
Fiend does have, um, if we go to the home.php page, does have a header and a footer, but we need to get rid of this. We don't need that right now. So if we save that and then we push it and All right, so I've done that. So what I want to do first and foremost with my theme is I want a static front page and I want a blog page. So traditionally when WordPress was set up in the beginning, you only had a choice of a blog page, but I want to go ahead and set up my static page. So let's create two pages real quick. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and delete all these pages right here. Well, no, I don't. I want to go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and create two pages. So um, I want to disable this plugin. I forgot I had this plugin enabled. Um, boom, 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 boom. Actually, let's just go ahead and create a, a new page. So I'm going to create a home page. So I'm going to create a page called home. Save that. And then I'm going to create a blog page. Now, the first thing you're going to ask yourself is, um, or the first question you're going to ask is, do you have to have it? Do you have, do these pages have to have these necessary names, especially blog? And yes, they don't. I mean, excuse me. No, they don't have to have these names. You can name them anything, but I just do the standard naming convention at the beginning because, um, no one's going to see the blog page. The only the only page that's important is the home page as of right now. So um, you can name the blog page, whatever you want to name it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, come in here and I am going to change this to a static front page. I'm going to select my home page and I'm going to select my blog page. And I'm going to keep everything else the same. Make sure you have this discouraged search engines from indexing the site. You don't want to have this unchecked until your site is done. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our home page looks like this, even though it still may be static within WordPress, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have all of this uh, populated on the home page, which is not the case right now. And that will be this first video. So instead of this white, space right here um, we're going to have that front page look like this so when i went ahead and created the blog and the front page and i went to the reading and i went to the settings and changed it to reading and i had my home and my blog page what that did was that that allowed me to use these two templates this front page.php let me get that out of here this front page.php and this home.php. So now that I'm able to use um, these two templates, what I want to do is first of all, let me so the front page.php corresponds to your home page. The home page.php, which you shouldn't get confused with, corresponds to that blog page that I created. So this is the home.php. This is the front page.php. And if you ever want to know the WordPress template type hierarchy, you can just go type in in Google WordPress template hierarchy. And they will give you this right here. 
Um, you'll be able to come here and you'll be able to look at this little graphic right here. And this will show you the WordPress template hierarchy. And if we zoom in, you will see that, hey, the, 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 the most parent file is the uh, index.php. However, for front pages, if you want to cite front page, you have the front page.php. And if you want a blog listing page, it either starts with the index.php or you have over here this home.php. Um, and once you go through this, you'll pretty much understand how how this works. So let me uh, get out of here and let's go back here. The other thing you need to make sure of is you need to change your per permaleaks from anything else to post name. That's been some of the standard naming things that's been going on in first uh, WordPress. And then that'll create a HD access file and put your permalinks um, into that. OK, so what we want to do is we want to get all of the HTML code um, and put it in in this file. Now, the, the one thing that we want to do is we want to create the sections that are going to be reused on the site everywhere. So the two main sections that are all that are always reused are what we call the header section, which includes your navigation menu, which is going to be on every page, which also includes the logo and your footer, which again is going to include is going to be included on every page. So let's go ahead and put the header and the footer on there. So um, also within the header, you're going to have all your CSS and HTML and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take that yet. All I'm going to do right now is take the the header information. So what we want to do is we want the um, we don't want the color picker. Um, that's what that is. So we want to take the loading um, the loading GIF and put that in the header file. So we have a header file right here. So we want to go ahead and take that, put that there. <clears throat> then we want to go ahead and take the logo and the menu. So we want to go ahead and take all of that. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead and take take that. And let me beautify this a little bit. Oops. Okay, so that looks good. So here we have the main menu. We have the mobile menu. Um, this is for uh, the mobile menu. Um, even though you won't be able to see it now, that's for the mobile menu. So we have the main menu, we have the mobile menu, and we have the logo right here. So uh, as you can see, so that is our header. So we'll go ahead and save that. And with this function right here, this WP head function, let me zoom in a little bit on it. This WP head function right here, that's going to print out all of our uh, CSS and whatever other functions and whenever we want to do translates and stuff like that we can put that up here in the HTML tag and and worry about that there but this is how we're going to print out all of our JavaScript I mean our HTML and maybe some JavaScript I don't think this theme has any JavaScript in its header um, let's look yeah well it has a modernizer script so we'll be printing out that modernizer script um, within this but all these other tags we're going to go ahead and print that out through that um, WP head tag. So if we come down to the footer, we have a footer.php file. So same thing, this WP footer fun function is going to be printing out the other tags that we need. So um, our JavaScript uh, JavaScript uh, tags, which are down here at the bottom, it's going to print out all these. And I'll show you where um, we get these printed out at. So um, 
Let's go ahead and um, see what we need in our footer. So our footer are going to be just our um, social network stuff. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. If you look at the thing, it's just these social networks uh, stuff. So, so we have that. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and paste that above that. And we'll save that and we'll go ahead and we'll push both our um, populated header and footer files. So I'm going to commit that to my git. Push. Now, of course, uh, this really doesn't mean anything if we go back to the dashboard and actually look back on the site. Um, actually, I got to home front page footer and header.php. Let me um, refresh this. So if we um, if we look back on the front page, let me refresh this. As you can see, you're just going to see some blank HTML. Um, it's not styled yet, so we have to get that, and we also have to put the content on there. So um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and from the starting of the header file to the ending of the I mean the header point. Uh, so this is the uh, here it is right here. So what we want is this. We want 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 this. 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 This, this, we want all of this right here. So let's copy all of this. Yeah, we want all of that. So let's copy that and put that in the <clears throat> front page.php where we have our git header call and our git footer call, which makes a call to those two files. So let's do that. All right, so we have all that. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and save that. And we're gonna go ahead and commit that uh, populating front page template. So we're doing that, and we're gonna push. And I am going to refresh and upload this. And so now that we have, now that we have that, we if I, if I refresh this, now we have all of our content here for our front page. So. We've gotten everything on our front page. Now we have to get our HTML and CSS, I mean, our CSS and our JavaScript going, and we'll do that in the next film.